Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon LP. Um, now we are going to explore Labridge Town, but really the only thing we really need to do here is basically just go into this gym and defeat Flannery, which should be pretty easy. And let's do that now. So, this gym is really complicated. It's like a maze of pitfalls and um, shooty, whatchamacallits, I don't know, but there are trainers hidden all around, and we are supposed to figure out which holes to enter and which holes not to. Um, I actually don't know, um, the, the thing, um, I'm just gonna have to go off memory here, um, but I don't really know which, which, um, pitfalls to enter and which, which ones not to, so hopefully I can get through this pretty quickly. And let's just get through these two guys real quick. I think this should be enough to do- Oh, wait, did I just use confusion on Swampert? Okay, good. <laughs> that would have been bad. Um, but Gardevoir and Swampert will be able to take care of these two guys pretty easily. Water Gun should do the trick. And bam. This is where Swampert comes in extra handy because he is a water type, and water types are extremely useful against um, fire types. However, I think I'm going to be switching Castiel with NL so that she can level up because Castiel's at level 36, so I want everyone to be like at around the same level. So I'm going to change that up, switch him, and awesome. And maybe we have to go to this one. I'm not too sure. Yes. Oh, two battles. Great. Oh, wow, wow. Yikes, that is hot. Can your Pokemon withstand 392 degrees heat? Um, I'm pretty sure maybe later on. Maybe. Um, I'm guessing you guys have, like, Slugmas or Nomos. Oh, Nomos and Kecleons. Wow, that is strange. And... We are just gonna go and do this, and we trace color change, let's use confusion on Kecleon, wait, wait, I have a great plan, confusion on Nummel, and water gun on Kecleon, and I think Kecleon has this ability, like, where, um, a certain type of move that hits it, like, if it's a water type that hits a Kecleon, then Kecleon will turn into, like, a water type. If, an, if it's hit by an electric type move, it's going to turn into an electric um, type Pokemon. So, we are going to change him into a nice water type first. And then, here's what we're going to do. Here's the cool trick. We are going to use Shockwave, which will be super effective on it now, because it is now a water type. And bam, that should be it, and everything should be over and done with. It's super effective. And we get 324 points of experience for both Swamper and Gardevoir, which is awesome. You have, yes, thank you for that comment. Oh, and it is thundering outside. Um, I, like every morning, it's like always thunder thundering where I live, and it's kind of getting, like, annoying now, because it's, like, it's teasing you, you know? Like, wh what am I doing? Why, why do I keep doing that? I'm being dumb. And I think this is the next one we're supposed to go to, and then maybe this one. Oh, no, that's Pokemon Trainer. Let's just... Should we fast forward? I think we should, because we are running out of time. <laughs> we're, like, five minutes in. Um, let's use Psychic because we do not want to waste any more time than we already have. Okay. Let's just... I think we're supposed to go to... No, that is a trainer. Dang it. Um, let's just mosey on down over here and fast forward through this battle because I do not want to bother you guys. Maybe this one. Maybe? Yes? No? Oh, it's the wrong one. We shouldn't have used that hole. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe it is the right one. We never know. Oh, no, it's not. I lied. Um, hmm. Okay, this little maze thing is getting to be quite annoying. 
and go up here and into this one okay and I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go into this one maybe no yep there's the flannery right there and oh, okay a Pokemon battle why don't we just fast forward through here because I do not want to waste time I want to get to flannery no I don't want to switch Pokemon confusion and that should take care of them pretty quickly and oh wow well that was completely the wrong way and we're going to go here again we're going to loop de loop and hoop and I forgot song copyright oh well oh no Pokemon battle <laughs> I think we basically just challenged every single Pokemon trainer in here so that's good experience points um NL is close to level 35 let us go on through here and up here and into this hole and maybe we should try going here um this looks very familiar so i'm thinking we are doing good for the most part and we're gonna go through here and yes it's flannery let us just save real quick yes i would like to save let's fast forward through this because yep welcome no wait Puny trainer, how how does how good to see you've made it here. I have been entrusted with that. No wait, I am Flannery and I'm the gym leader here. Uh, dare not underestimate me though. I have been leader only a short time. With skills inherited from my grandfather, I shall uh demonstrate the hot moves we have honed on this land. So she seems like a very reluctant gym leader. She looks pretty cool though. Not gonna lie, I like her hair. It looks awesome and she is going to use some numble and we are going to use some NL <laughs> and hopefully I'm pretty sure that a psychic would do the trick and BAM yup that should do it 451 that's good experience point and slugma no, I do not want to change. Um, Slugma. Hmm, level 24 too? Yup. And Psychic should, should do the trick. Um, I'm pretty sure that we are going to be able to sweep through her, <laughs> her entire team with just, like, Psychic and NL. And she is almost close to leveling up, which is good. Ooh, camera. This one might need, like, two Psychics. I am not sure. I think camera will be her strongest Pokemon. Maybe? I am not sure. I think she might have Mescargo, um, if my memory serves me correctly. And we are going to get 975 points, and we grew to level 36, which is awesome. Torkoal. Um, hmm. Let's try our luck with D-Win. And maybe one Iron Tail would be able to do it. Um, D-Win right now really is really bad against fire types, but we are going to put our faith in him, and hopefully he is going to be able to win this. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> um, and hopefully, oh, Overheat, I don't think D-Win will be able to survive that. Maybe? Mm, oh, so close. And Tarkoal special attack fell, but then I think it's going to eat something that makes it... Um, yep, it got back its little status attack, so that sucks. And we are just gonna switch to Castiel because D Win is not going to do a lot here. So Torkoal used Overheat again, but it's not gonna do much right now to Castiel because he is a water type. And he is level 36, and you are only at a puny little level 29. Let's use water again, and I'm pretty sure that's going to be it. And Torkoal is going to go down? No, surprisingly not. Maybe Torkoal just has, like, a lot of special defense. Um, which might give us trouble. But I'm confident in the fact that we can take Torkoal on. One more water gun. Oh, but she's going to use a Hyper Potion. Um, a Hyper Potion, I think, um, heals 200 Poke Pokemon HP points. So that is just going to cause trouble for us. 
And I think that Sunlight is actually increasing Torkoal's um, Fire-type attack moves, and maybe it's increasing its defense? I'm not sure. But hopefully we can take on this Torkoal pretty quickly. Oh, and Attract! That is something I did not want to happen. Basically, Attract is... Um, our Pokemon is, like, having a crush on Torkoal right now. And... Sometimes it'll attack, sometimes it won't, um, but just a little switch of the Pokemon team will be able to cure that quickly. So we are going to go to Anael. She is a female, so Torkoal's attract will not do anything. And hopefully this body slam doesn't paralyze us, and thankfully it isn't. The sunlight is strong. That sunlight is getting annoying real quick. And let's just use the Psychic, and I think, hopefully, that'll do the trick. And yes, it will. And foes Torkoal fainted. NL gained 333 points, and Cassiel gained 333, and D-Win got 333, so everyone got 333 points from there. Um, oh, I guess I was trying too hard. I've only recently become a gym leader. I tried too hard to be someone I'm not. I have too many things in my natural way. If I don't, my Pokemon will be confused. Thanks for teaching me that. For that, you deserve this. And we got 2,900 Poke Dollars, which is awesome. And we received the Heat Badge from Flannery. Awesome. Great. Thank you, Flannery. That will come in handy. If you have a Heat Badge, all Pokemon up to level 50, even those you get in trade from other people, will obey you completely. And it lets Pokemon use HM move strength outside of battle. This is the token of my appreciation. Don't be shy to taking it. Okay, we got TM50, and I think that is overheat, which is what Torkoal used. Um, that move inflicts serious damage on the opponent, but it also sharply cuts the SP attack of the Pokemon using it. It might not be suitable for longer battles. So, we are going to register Gym Leader Flannery. Thank you for your number, little miss. And let us- oh, look at that, it's May. Hmm. Let's see what she has to say. Jay, long time no see. Oh, while well, I visited the hot springs, you got the, the Laverage Gym badge. You must have collected good Pokemon. No, I believe you raised some. I guess it would be okay for you to have this. And we get Goo Goggles, and that'll allow us to get into that little desert area. Which, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a trap pinch there, and maybe I can raise it to be a Flygon. And then, I forgot the uh, Vibrava? The Brava then Flygon, which will be awesome, to, an awesome addition to our team. So let's just go into this PC, and I am going to end the episode here, you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, next time I am going to try and go through those desert things, or maybe not. Um, I'll go check to see if it's required. Um, but next time I will definitely have a trap pinch, and I will try to raise it off screen. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye.